Good morning, ladies. I thought I would jump in here today and find out from you guys what evidence it is that you are using to write your story and um, or to choose to believe who it is that you are and what you can achieve. Now, usually how we do this, and it's usually completely unconscious the way, it's the world's way, but we decide who we are by past experiences, things that people have said to us, past failures, um, past bad decisions, things that we say that we're going to do, we tell promises that we give ourselves and then we don't follow through. Um, we take this, this collection of experiences and then we create a story of who we are and what we can do, what we can achieve. And we place ourselves in this box based on this evidence that we have used to create this story and then we choose to stay there. We don't choose to break out of that a lot of times we, we, because this has become our accepted place. We are decided to accept this for ourselves. We don't choose to see what's beyond that, to see if the, this collection of evidences is really who it is that we are and what we can achieve. Well, the Bible says that is completely backwards, backwards thinking, backwards believing. And it's based on this verse in Hebrews 11.1 1, that says, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And right now, uh, the enemy is choosing to completely stomp out hope. There's a lot of things going on. That's one of the things he likes to do is he likes to crush our hope. So faith is, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that we cannot see. So the Bible's way to say what we base, um, who we think we are, is on what we can't see. That is the evidence. It is forward thinking. It is future thinking on things that we absolutely cannot see. But this is our dream. It's our vision. It's our purpose. And it's out here yet. There's still no evidence for it, but it's what we believe in. It's what we have faith in it. So this is where we place our eyes, not on the evidence of past things, maybe evidence of things that are going on right in front of our faces and to us, um, but on what we can't see. And that is what we place our hope in. That is what we place our faith and belief in. Um, so let's talk about Joseph for a minute. God gave him visions. He gave him two specific dreams. One of them was um, of, of uh, sheaves of wheat, his and then his brothers, and his sheaf of wheat was bigger, and their sheaves of wheat were smaller, and all of those sheaves of wheat bowed down to his sheaf of wheat. Um, and then he had another dream that was some similar in uh, similar in uh, to that dream, and um, it was the sun and the moon and the stars, 11 stars bowing down to him. Um, and so in the natural, he had absolutely no evidence of that. His brothers throw him into a pit. He gets sold, he gets sold into slavery. He um, then gets thrown into prison for something that he didn't do. No evidence for the vision that God gave him. But he kept his eyes on the vision. He kept his eyes on the promises that God gave him, not on the, on the evidence that was in front of his face. If he had kept his eyes on that evidence, he may have never achieved the vision. And, and then he did achieve this vision that God gave him based on nothing that was going on in, in his real world. It was based on things that he could not see, the evidence of things that he could not see, but he kept his eyes on the vision. And that is exactly what we need to do. Keep our eyes on the vision that God has given us or decide to dream. God, remember those dreams that God has given us. He's placed dreams in our hearts. He's placed desires in our hearts. He gave us those dreams and those desires. And it does not um, count on the real world evidence that we see. It is on the evidence that we cannot see. So we create our stories on what we cannot see on a future vision, and on a foretelling of what 
is going to happen, not what is now happening. And we keep our eyes on that. And we keep moving forward for this future vision, vision that we have yet not to see. But we will attain if we keep the vision in front of us. Write the vision, make it plain, and it will come. So this is something that I want to talk to you guys about. I know that sometimes we, we decide to, to just settle because we've Based on things that we've gone through, we just don't we just don't ever see us attaining these dreams that we have. Sometimes we've lost hope. Sometimes, like I've already mentioned, we 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 just fail to dream at all. Well, dream. <laughs> Write the vision down. Sit down with a notebook, a journal. Vision out. Be a visionary. Vision out what it is that you want for your life. Write it down on paper. Put it in front of you. And that is the evidence. Believe in that evidence that you cannot see. And you will eventually have it in your hands. Now, the stuff that you have to go through from here to the vision, well, that it's, it's not a fun path. If Joseph had known his path, maybe he would have said, keep the vision, Lord. <laughs> you know, this is, I don't want any of this. Well, it's, it is the stuff that we have to go through from, from the vision to the attaining of it. And we just keep that as evidence, is what we cannot see. So I hope you guys found that useful today and it helps you put your, put your foot back in the water. You have to be moving forward. The more you move forward, the more the vision uh, even becomes, uh, you, the more clarity you have because you're moving forward now. If you're sitting still, God does not reveal the path. So you have to be moving so that he can give you a light for your path and he can instruct you once you start to move. So you guys have a happy Tuesday and I will see you again next time.